Hello. I read the book of Genesis uh, from the uh, Hebrew Bible, and uh, initially I wanted to uh, reread uh, the story of Joseph as a way to brush up on my reading plans for March. I'm going to be reading Joseph and His Brothers by Thomas Mann. And I have this uh, fantastic uh, new edition of uh, the Hebrew Bible. It's translated by uh, Robert Alter. Um, so this is the five books of Moses. Really interesting cover. And it's a behemoth. It's, uh, these are the other two parts of it. Big, big scholarly edition. Um, a great introduction, absolutely loaded with footnotes. Um, and like I said, I, w I was I was expecting to just read uh, the portion involving uh, Joseph and his brothers, the, the story of him going to Egypt, and I read. Uh, just the, the first passage, the uh, famous first passage in the new translation, and I thought to myself, like, well, no, I, I, I need to I need to read the whole thing. Uh, I'm just going to read uh, the very beginning uh, to give you a, a sense of um, the the language. Uh, when God began to create heaven and earth, and the earth then was welter and waste and darkness over the deep and God's breath hovering over the waters God said let there be light and there was light and God, God saw the light and that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness and God called that light day and the darkness he called night so where was it and the earth then was welter and waste and darkness over the, over the deep. Um, that really hooked me. Um, and in the, in the introduction of the book, um, Robert Alter makes um, a, a few claims about his translation. Uh, one is that it's a translation of the Hebrew Bible, so it is translated from the Hebrew. And also that it's only the Hebrew Bible. Uh, this isn't a translation of um, the New Testament and um, adding on the Old Testament to fit together as a whole. Um, so that this is a, its own standalone book. Um, the the other uh, statement that Robert Alter makes is that although the King James version is um, significant, uh, a literary achievement, beautiful, uh, ubiquitous, all those things, um, he does contend that it's not a faithful translation. And then he pairs that with um, how more modern translations, um, though they could be more faithful in his opinion, are not necessarily as beautiful as uh, the King James, King James Version. And he makes a big point to say that uh, the original Hebrew is beautiful. Um, it, it, ha it has a, a music in its language that uh, he feels it needs to be conveyed. Um, and it it really is great. This is a great translation. It uh, feels modern. It feels uh, up to date in, in the sense that uh, I, I can read it very easily. It's very clean. But at the same time, very importantly, it still feel it has that timeless quality to it. There's not um, 
any sayings that stick out or um, anything that feels um, dated or potentially could feel dated. Um, so I, I was really happy with the readability of the translation. And then as far as the book, I mean, th th this thing is so scholarly. Um, I'll, I'll show you, uh, just like a random page, every single page, um, you have the top half, or the top portion, um, which is the translation, and then a, just a massive amount of footnotes on every single page. Um, and he goes into great detail about um, what uh, what the original Hebrew meant, his, his choices in um, the, the, the words that he picked, He'll explain puns, if, there, if there's puns in there, and uh, historical significance of different events. Um, <clears throat> just a really great addition that uh, put, puts so much information in front of you. Um, and I didn't read all the footnotes, um, but it, it was nice if I came across something I was kind of curious about um, to have a, I mean, a paragraph explaining just one sentence instead of having to do a lot of flipping or checking my phone or uh, referring to other books. It's just all right here. Um, and then as far as the story of Genesis, I'm always so fascinated by how strange of a story it is. Um, to me, I always feel it's a uh, a story of descendants. The, the, the whole book is generation by generation, family by family, um, and this time around what um, I noticed was um, God, in the beginning of the book, God um, creates heaven and earth. And he's he's act he's 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 creating he's as active as as he can be, and as the book goes along, I feel like um, it was interesting to notice God's involvement in mankind uh, becoming less and less and less from, like I said, creating the earth to um, <clears throat> having the flood and and destroying. Mankind to um, to then uh, testing Abraham, uh, so ha having one-on-one uh, -on -one interactions with certain people um, to test their faith, uh, and also to Sodom and Gomorrah, where he's now in instead of the flood, which is the whole earth, now he's looking at a city, and then uh, to a Abraham and just focusing his attention on one person and then by the time you get to Joseph <clears throat> he's, he's nearly um, completely in the background and now he's coming to people just in in visions and dreams and his, his presence is there instead of being this active character that people uh, are really uh, in, involved with um, so I, I, I did find that fascinating. Um, it's it almost as if uh, the significance of mankind b became the um, primary importance of the book, uh, kind of emerging out of God's involvement. Um, and um, I'm, I'm really curious what's going to happen with Thomas Mann's uh, Joseph and His Brothers this is the book. Uh, like I said, I think it's like 1,500 pages or something like that. Um, so I'm, I'm curious how he's going to take, I don't know what it is, maybe 40 or 50 pages from Genesis and expand um, expand out from that. Um, it'll, it'll be interesting to see. Um, I'm also always just so fascinated by the, the difference in morality in the book, the, the way that characters interact and um, 
treat each other when they're wronged or how they treat each other when they're angry. Um, and the moral character. So Joseph is a moral character. And he, he does a lot of things that are slightly kind of questionable in my eyes. Um, so that's it. I, I read uh, Genesis. Um, it's a book that begins with the creation of heaven and earth, and it ends with Joseph in a coffin. Um, leave a comment if you would like. Uh, let, please let me know what you think. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be reading next. Probably some short stories. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching.